Hey guys, good morning. I hope you're all doing well. Lately, a lot of you guys have had questions about my palettes, mostly my gouache palette. So I thought it would be a good idea to do kind of an updated video on, on them. So I'm going to go through each of my palettes and swatch them and then talk about the colors included. There will be a full list of all the brands and colors for each palette listed in the description. That way you can check them out if you see a color you're curious about or anything like that. Also, before I get started, I just wanted to let you know that this video isn't sponsored, but a majority of these paints were sent to me. All of the tubes of Arteza gouache were sent to me by Arteza in exchange for a review video, but those videos were done over a year ago and I'm still using them. Also, most of my watercolor paints were sent to me by Sienna Marie Art. She reached out to me and offered to send me some extra paint she had, and I'm still extremely grateful for that. There was definitely no way I could have afforded all these paints at the time, and they are so much nicer than what I had before. So if you're watching, thank you so much. The first palette is my gouache palette. Most of the paint is Arteza gouache, except for a few colors that are mixed with Reeves. And the white, which is titanium white from Da Vinci, the permanent artist gouache. So starting with the white, the colors are Da Vinci titanium white, Arteza gray, Arteza noir, Arteza burnt umber, Arteza burnt sienna, Reeves red ochre, Arteza yellow ochre, this one is probably a combination of both Reeves and Arteza. It's peach and then Arteza's flesh tint. Next is Arteza Vermilion Red, Arteza Scarlet Red. And then on the other side, Arteza Crimson Red, Arteza Rose, Arteza Mauve Pale, and then Arteza Ultramarine Blue, I think. Arteza Per... Perlene Blue? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that one. Reeves Cobalt Blue Hue, I think. Arteza Parisian Blue. Arteza Viridian Green. Reeves Leaf Green. There is Arteza Lemon Yellow, again dirty, this time with a, bit, a bunch of green in it. In the corner, there's a little bit of Lemon Yellow that's kind of dirty. And then in the corner, there is Arteza Peach Red. I've actually had swatches of all of the colors from the Arteza gouache set in a window since March for a light fastness test. And so far, almost all of the colors are holding up really well, except for the flesh tint and the peach red, which was expected. I haven't noticed any change in the Prussian blue yet, though, which is cool because I expected it and peach red to do the worst. Eventually, I kind of need to redo this palette a little bit. I only really use two of the blues, and I rarely ever use the green section at all. So I could definitely replace those with some colors that I like better. Next is my plastic watercolor palette. For a long time, this palette held my Simply watercolors from Dollar Rowney. But a while back, I popped those out and replaced them with some of the watercolors that were sent to me by Santa Marie Art and two tubes of Daniel Smith paint that I already had. Some of the colors were popped out of the half pan she sent them in. That's why some of the pans are really square. This and it's in layer. Those paints were really sticky, probably from all the honey they add. So I used a toothpick to move the paint over, but that wasn't very fun. So I did that for one of the colors and the other two, I just kind of transferred a bit with a brush. And I did the same for the lemon yellow. So on this pan, starting from the bottom left, the colors are Daniel Smith's Lunar Black, Daniel Smith Moon Glow, Daniel Smith Quina Crydone Purple, Daniel Smith Persian Blue, Sinlier, Thalo Blue Red Shade, Sinlier, <laughs> Ultramarine Deep, Windsor and Newton Cotman Turquoise, Daniel Smith Cobalt Teal Blue, Holbein Hooker's Green, Grumbatcher Indigo, Windsor & Newton Cotman Paints Gray, Windsor & Newton Cotman Lemon Yellow Hue, M. Graham Quina Crydone Rose, Sinlier Red, Daniel Smith Alizarin Crimson, 
Daniel Smith Permanent Yellow Deep. This palette is definitely still missing a few colors, I think. I really wanted to find a nice burnt sienna and maybe a burnt umber since I really like using those two colors with gouache for skin tones. So I definitely want to try them out with watercolors as well. Next palette is the small metal one. This is the palette that Sienna Marie Art sent to me. It's a really nice palette, but I missed the mixing space and size of my old palette. So besides the colors that were too difficult to move completely, this palette also includes these really pretty dual tone colors by Daniel Smith. They're really glittery and nice, and I really need to come up with something special to use them for. So starting at the bottom left, the colors in this palette are M. Graham Quinna Crydone Rose, Sinlier Red, Daniel Smith Dual Chrome Hibiscus, Daniel Smith Dual Chrome Violet Pearl, Windsor Newton Cotman Lemon Yellow Hue, Sinlier Thalo Blue Red Shade, Daniel Smith Persian Blue, Sinlier Ultramarine Deep, Daniel Smith Fuchsite, Genuine. Oh my god, why are all these so hard to pronounce? <laughs> and the last palette is this 12 color set of the Kuritake Ganzai paints. I definitely thought I would use this palette a lot more when I bought it, but I haven't really used it that much. I do like to use the reds for outlines since they're super opaque and perfect for that. They're not so good for mixing and layering though, which is probably why I don't use them that much. I really should though, since they're really nice paints. I just need to learn how to use them. But that is all of my palettes. Well, except for my oil palette, but that changes so much from painting to painting, I don't know how I would include it. Again, all of the colors and brands would be typed out in the description. Let me know if you have any questions. I really hope that this was helpful for those of you who have been asking about my palettes. And I will see you soon for the next video. Bye!